Walter Brennan is a veteran movie actor whose career has spanned four decades. He has many wonderful memories relating to his career, but tonight we've asked him to share with us some of his personal recollections. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Walter Brennan. Every now and again, I sort of like to come up here in the attic and sort of poke around. Most of the things that have found their way up here, they just ain't of much earthly value. But for one reason or another, I, I just never had the heart to throw them away. <laughs> oh, hiya, Martha. You still got a wonderful shape. <laughs> Inside this old trunk, there's a lot of memories from a lot of years. You know, it took three years and a lot of gum wrappers to get a ball of tin for this big. <laughs> and I guess that's better than sitting around and wasting your time like some young folks do today. <laughs> hey, look at this. This is a, a hula dance I painted on a necktie. <laughs> and I got that in Hawaii. Boy, that was some vacation. Two weeks in a Thai store. <laughs> oh, here's, here's Martha's old fox fur. Oh, <laughs> Chap, why, we thought you wanted it off in the winter of 29. <laughs> Come on, boy, roll over. Atta boy, roll over. <laughs> That's a boy. <laughs> you know, I taught him how to play dead, and he's never forgotten that trick. <laughs> oh. Here's your menu. You see, from a restaurant in Atlantic City, here's where Martha and I had a romantic dinner. Pierre's House of Clams. <laughs> I remember we had, we dined on roast-legged clam. <laughs> clam salad, and clam ice cream. <laughs> you know, it was the first time ice cream ever squirted me. <laughs> I know we ate so much that night, I couldn't finish my coffee. I think I'll do it now. <laughs> it ain't warm, but it's sure strong. No wonder it's Pierre's special grinder, clam coffee. <laughs> I'll never forget later on that week, I, I got a long distance telephone call from from Snag Weris, all the way from California. I was busy pumping up the inner tube at the time, and I, I had to put Snag on hold. <laughs> Hello, Snag? <laughs> My golly, he's still holding on. <laughs> How are you, Snag? What? Feeling poorly, huh? Well, listen, Snag, I got... Listen, Snag! <laughs> I can't talk now. I'm busy reminiscing. <laughs> Say, do you mind if I put you on hold? <laughs> well, Snag always was a patient man. <laughs> well, now, what's this? Well, <laughs> it's an old player piano roll. I wonder if it's... What was still working? I remember this old player piano. I wondered what happened to the to the young fella that, that used to come over Saturday nights and play. He was a sweet little guy, had a great big nose.
stage. He ain't changed a bit. A little dustier, that's all. Oh, what's going on here? Fish, whatever happened to the two beers you went out for? Prohibition came in. Oh, uh, well, while you were out, there was a phone call for you from Snag Wallace. <laughs> when did he call? It was either in 1932 or 1938. <laughs> What'd he say? I couldn't hear him. There was a dog barking. <laughs> <laughs> well, pardon me, say, you, you want to do one of the old songs? <laughs> No, no, no. Why be old-fashioned? Let's do one of the new songs I hear you playing on the radio downstairs. Yeah, well, which one was that? The one that goes like this. Good morning, starshine. The earth says... Hello. <laughs> you twinkle above us. We twinkle below. Good morning, Starshine. You lead us along. My love and me as we sing our early morning singing song. Oh, 